So what, what you see here is a backup of the grease traps at the restaurant. There is a malfunction in their grease retention system, which resulted in it venting out into the street. Uh, we had a lot of people call this in. We had our uh, hazmat companies and first uh, do engines companies. We came out here and we tested it. Uh, this is all grease. This is uh, cooking fats and cooking oils. Uh, it smells very foul but they tested it. We also have environmental health out here. So this is not raw sewage. This is simply, if you can imagine your, you can imagine a gigantic grease trap in from a commercial restaurant outflowing to the streets. Because as you can see, some of this runoff water is going into the sewer drains uh, just to keep them advised so we can protect our uh, natural waterways. You have a big commercial uh, cooking operation. Sometimes these grease traps malfunction. Uh, if there's any clog in the line, or malfunction on the line, it'll actually vent like it's supposed to and vent out on the street. Um, and so I, uh, I'm told by bystanders it's been like this for a few hours and someone finally called it in. It is a hazard, it's a slip hazard and it's obviously a grease hazard. So we have the area cordon off and the, the restaurant has been working, they've been a tremendous partner in, with us. So they're gonna work to get this cleaned up and not only get it cleaned up, but also clean the street clean the streets because it leaves a real oil, oily residue for a slip hazard. If you're a restaurant owner, definitely make sure those grease traps are cleaned out and especially for the fire protection, the hood systems, the vent systems, it's all clean and prevent this kind of situation.